A huge feature in Touchpoint is the ability to send email. You can send an email to one person, to an entire organization, to a subset of that organization, or to several thousand people that are in your database using Search Builder results. Let me show you how to send one to an organization. On this trial database, I'm enrolled in this couples class, so when I click that link, it opens the class. These are fake email addresses, except for just a few of us that uh, Touchpoint employs. But when you want to send an email, you look for the blue toolbar. Wherever you are, when you find the blue toolbar, you click on the envelope, and normally you're going to send to individuals. So that's what I'm going to select. That will open a page that will give you the option to select a template, or a saved draft, or even a shared draft. And we have other videos about how to save drafts and share them and, and all of that. So for this example, I'm just going to pick an existing template that's in this trial database. I'll just select Adult Ministry. You know, it's, it's, it's got the image here, and it's got track, track links, unsubscribe. These are all very important items to put in your emails. Track will allow you to see who has opened your email. It does require that there's an image in your email. That's how it works. And so this is the image up here where it says Adult Ministry. Track Links lets you see how many people click on external links that you might include in an email. And Unsubscribe allows them to click a link and unsubscribe from that sender. So those are all very important. We always include them at the bottom of our templates. But I want to click in the body, which is right here. Click here to uh, edit content. When I click in it, that text goes away and I'm ready to type my email. Right, I've typed my email. It's just a very simple email giving them details about an upcoming social. I'm using what we call email replacement codes. Well, I'm using one of them right here, and that's the word first. It's inside curly braces. That will just replace that word first with the person's first name. So it makes it more personal. So all 42 will get an email with their first name at the beginning. When you're finished, click Save. There's the email. Before you send it to everyone, it's a good idea to send a test to yourself. So my test email has been sent. When I receive it, I want to open it, make sure that it looks right, make sure that the spacing is right. Uh, sometimes things don't look the way you intend them to look. So there's my email. It's got the logo up there, and there it is. That's what the unsubscribe looks like. It's got my first name there uh, instead of the word first. So it looks good to go. I'm going to close that, and then I'm going to click Send. Oops, it's going to remind me that I need something in the subject and the body. So make sure you put a subject. So there's my subject. I've got all my recipients. This is who it's from. You do have the option to send on behalf of other people uh, if you have been given that right by your system admin but I want it to come from me, so now I'm going to send it. It's going to let you know that the emails have been queued and that they've been sent. There it is, 42 emails, and it's okay. You're going to do the same process whether you're sending to an individual, to two or 3,000, or to just one person. When you go to an individual, you can go to the blue toolbar and follow that same, uh, those same steps by selecting the template you want, putting in your email, and that's how easy it is to send email. There are a lot of other features that come with the email uh, feature itself, so you'll want to read more about that, but that's just a basic email.